so that is why when the light transmits when inside the glass it is transmit so that is why gold so you red color and when it reflects there is a silver atom silver particle when it reflects it is so you green color understand so it depends just to make a thing light magnetic interaction and you know very well so the same glass it is sometimes it is red and it is sometimes it is green and it is possible to make a color that is not it is interesting and it is interesting and it is we can say that this science is not new it is very old science only thing is that we could able to rename it it is because of the name the principles of physics all these things are same that transmission and that reflection it was everything was occurring at that time everything was uh, same only thing is that we could able to find the physics brain yes it is the light matter interaction and the because of the silver plasma or the gold plasma the color is different okay and there are many applications now the matter matter is there in you know uh, agriculture and uh, see i have if i have this is a new result and uh, government of india is going to set this in five factories of uh, this national fertilizer limited india they have planned to install five factories of nano uh, urea I have shown the uh, inset figure is uh, urea bulk material and the urea of nano material. And you know the nano material, nano urea are hundred times effective than the bulk material. So in one acre of land, when you are using one quintal of urea, probably you will use now five kg urea. Only five kg urea will take care of same, will give you the same yield where you are using one quintal urea. So you see the cost. One agricultural fellow in Delhi, he was putting ten thousand rupees for you know this urea and glomer and all these things. I have what the scientist did, same thing. They just break down this material section now. So it's like these things. And instead of one quintal, now he is just using five kg. Instead of one thousand rupees, he is just using hundred rupees. This is the beauty of science giving to humans. And India, government of India is side. There are many, but you have you have also science for that. There are many. You have see, you are using hundred one quintal same material. I am using only five kg. So how can you say the side effect is better, more than this? Because I am using only five kg. Even though it is there, it will be less. Because it was hundred kg that time, now it is five kg. But it is there, and for that science is also there. And you are there. You have to think, okay? You have to think. Yes, we have this problem, and let us make it by combining. Instead of putting urea in nano particle like this, do something, add something so that it should be combined to do what? Okay. Nano technology can solve it. I have just uh, in my introduction. What I have said. Everywhere now science. See, this is not my science, and this is not my sir. But I want to aware you that see, it is not only that you do only like one clinic. You go hospital, see some patient, try some medicines, come back to your room. No, there are many things to do. You have many opportunity. At the same time, you are looking after it. Patient at the same time they think that yes, how can I take care this uh, things, no? uh, cancer or these things? In last 50 years we are struggling. We do not have any medicine now. Billions, millions of people are working for that. So nanoscience has come treatment now. What they did? Suppose this gold, gold iron. I am also working on this gold iron. You know. They are, uh, as I show you, they are very, you know, they are very uh, concerned light. Like, you know, if I have light, they have very different type of problem. So later we prepare a nanoparticle to which are higher sensitive. So I will to say it should interact with the higher because I have all the light. 
and the all the problems in the song line. Okay. So I now prepare a big party. Big party thing of board now party thing. Who is the buyer of party board? The body. And I can put this what we haven't seen. If I if I could prepare this party thing, who is give me instead of this no UVBG region uh, luminescence or the output scattering. If it could give me higher range scattering. That particle size, if I do it, I can do. It has been done. So what will happen if I put a general light? It will give me a higher, just luminescence, just scattering, just the luminescence. If I put, I let me make a nano particle a board of micron size, or the size which give me some micron of length, and micron of length are nothing but your higher. So what will happen? I just implant few nanoparticles on the cancer tumor, and I put a light simply, and it will give me a higher light. And higher light is nothing but it gives you more definition. So once it heated up, because of the emission, it will heat it up, and it will kill the cancer cell. But interestingly, at 47 degree centigrade, cancer cell kills. But at 47 degree centigrade, human cells don't. What does it mean? I just kill the cancer cell and I won't affect my other body system. Is that it? This is still the process is going on. There are people are working on this. But this is a very fantastic way. And other way is that I am not, I am not affecting all of my body. I am just, there is a tumor here. I will just inject non particle here, not to my body. So and I will just put uh, light here. And this part only affected. And now this drug delivery, you know, nano drug delivery. What happened? I have a problem at some particular place. I have a drug, and which we have implanted a magnetic matter, or which is converted to can be affected by magnet. So what I do? I just take this, like a magnet, and bring this drug to this place by some way. By just using a magnet, I bring this material of the medicine or the drug to the place where I want. So only that place or that area is affected now, or it is now treated by the drug, and that is possible only in nanometer clearance and in comparison to size and all. Okay, it is you could able to understand. Hello, students. I I I want to say please let me know yes or no yes. 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 Sir. See, this is an experiment. I know these people, and uh, this is from the nano user, and this is a transmission electron microscope. On transmission electron microscope, lively it has been recorded. See, it has been come from nanometer size, and this is from nano user. The plasmonic nanostructure made of local metals. Who is trapped under optical illusion? When I put up my photon light, see it is trapped. Is it uh, moving? Na? This when the light is on, it is trapped. Understand? So this is what one can do. It is taking na? all the things. It is just capturing, capturing. When the light is on, it is just capture everything. So it is just you, know, you send this uh, elements or this material to somewhere. Which are not effectively wearable in your body or somewhere, and it will just ca capture everything. If you put on a light by somewhere, light can go inside your body by nowadays. There are many methods. This uh, optical fibers and whatever you know, operations the doctor are today nowadays do it. This laparoscopic method and all this is very easy way to uh, handle light inside the body. And uh, this effect, you know, what is this called? What is this? This is a natural phenomenon. You have seen. Sal potro re pani bodi jee. Panta kahi roini. What is the science behind it? No, no. Somebody put a pillow on the answer for kahi pani ka sadi kahi roini. What is it? Because of the. 
lack of addition. No man, I want the science. Why it is not sticking? Addition, how the parent is doing? How about it? I think some uh, automobiles now using some yeah. color coating, yes. so the car is looking new. You should just need to know what is science working behind this. God has given many things to us. Most of the science remains followed by nature. Most, unless otherwise the apple is falling, but he could be able to mark why it is falling. Then what then? You know, then the story. So most of the phenomena or observation or invention you are seeing, it is, it is uh, natural. Means people, scientists followed the nature, then they try to implement it in our science. And this is like a I also prepared. See, the day, now it is also in market. It is available to see. I just prepare a quarter and uh, I have to put in a quarter. You go in rain, then come back to house, you have a chat, no waiting, nothing. Just in, in the rain, you go outside, no issue, come to inside your house. Again, you just... So, what is the effect of concentrated H2SO4 on this? Is there any problem? It is concentrated H2SO4, so it is no problem. No problem? No, it is problem. No, it is problem. It is problem. But I want to say, these colors or these waters or all these things are uh, hydrophilic. Okay. See, there is a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic. I'll show you the example. Even in your school, see, it is not fun. So, this is the sum I have prepared. I have let you know what is, the, what is happening here. The surface is, the, on the silicon, I have just prepared an unwetted shampoo and I put a water drop. And see, when it is 
when it is a circle, the angle of circle to my material is 140 degrees. Okay. And when it is object, the first figure, the contact angle is 40 degrees. So it is 100% hydrophilic. And the last figure, 140 degree, it is hydrophilic, 20% hydrophilic. And this matter you for your cut, for your You can prepare many, many. And it should be known many times, it should be numbered in the five more and all these things and cost effective. Everything has to be checked. And then, very simply, way, just prepare that and have a coating on your These sites are available in market now. No, no, you see, that's what I'm showing you. You can understand that this 20% of hydrophobic. It is hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. Molecule should be hydrophobic. Then it repairs. If it is hydrophobic, it will attract. Heal means love, attraction. Yeah. Phobia means afraid of, going yeah, away. It will attract. But I have one question. If it is hydrophobic, huh. less hydrophilic, so it will throw it the outside water. water. Huh. Same way it will throw the sweat from inside coming. <laughs> so, so but I, why I put uh, the coating inside? I would put the coating inside. Outside, outside. outside. Yeah. I have it inside. Okay? I but there are, some, there are some pores between the cloth. Uh, even, though, yeah. even though I will have a coating on outside only. And that one reflects inside. Even I have a plan, I cannot show you. I have a coating inside which, which will pull my body. Yeah. So it is a bad conductor of heat? Yes, it is a bad conductor of heat. I prepare a matter which is, which is a bad conductor of heat and it will not transmit the outside heat to inside. I have to inside coating, then I I feel full. Why do I say this? These things are they are really now there in the market. Even I show you some of the uh, material or some of the products which are available in the market and people are using. And it is because the That's science right. is doing, the research is doing. Okay. Yeah, most of you people who are using this SMC, Samsung TV, and all this green TV and the other one. This is called Pandora. And most of the people are using this S7, Galaxy S7, Samsung Galaxy S7, somebody will have. So you have to do it to be here. Uh, 2D layer, above which you have a graphene layer. This uh, S7 Samsung Galaxy have a graphene layer. That is what I am just saying why graphene is so. And this is also most of the people use. This is anti uh, fog coating. See, I clear a glass, it will not, fog will not come. The way I am saying hydrophilic, hydrophobic. Okay? Mm. No moisture will come to my glass. Very easy. Visibility increases. Yeah. So let us finish. These, why I am saying this? These all the materials are uh, available in the market now. And uh, this, uh, this is sunscreen, pink oxide, used for your no? UV absorption. Nivea also used. Uh, I will not discuss this part because uh, luminescence has been discussed by people from London. Let's see if I have This is just a white LED fabricated by uh, nanomaterial. This is a brief nanomaterial. This work has been done by me. So that is why I am saying. I should show this thing. There are biology students. Oh, everyone. So let us go to the biology. This is for some working in biology. Okay. I'll finish my next five. So let us go to biology. I have prepared. This is a very interesting paper. I published in the journal of biomedical nanotechnology. This is a high impact journal. And this result published by using my result and the result from the Apple Hospital. And we prove our sensor is very very faster or better than the better than the sensor presently used in the commercial market. So what 
have a deep. I'll uh, give you a simple glimpse. This is the crypto sensor available in the present market today. Whatever sensor you see, they used to collect, they used to just uh, see that uh, how much is there is a, this, this, all these are more or less electrical sensors. Like now you know electrochemical sensing. You have a cathode, anode and you have electrolyte, then you have to take a response of the current, how much current is coming between the electrode, cathode. You, when you see near the, this, you take a tip, they take a blood and punch uh, into your device. What they did, this, this uh, serum of your blood used as electrolyte. And there is a cathode and there is an anode. They connect in between, they take a response of the blood. Uh, they take a response from that uh, serum. And that serum contains glucose and hydrogen peroxide. This hydrogen peroxide is responsible for giving you current. So that current varies related to how much glucose you have, number of glucose and number of hydrogen peroxide. And that number of hydrogen peroxide, it may give you, a, if you have more, it will, it will give more current. If you have less, it will give less current. So as for that, I calibrate this much glucose is there in your blood. Okay, this is the basic principle of most of the glucose sensor available today in the market. What we did. This is the basic. Okay, they do take a glucose, then they do, uh, this glucose is, uh, when they use this uh, glucose oxidant as a um, enzyme or as an enzyme they use for that. This is an the enzyme they use. What we are, my title said, this is non enzymatic optical glucose sensor. I have not used electrical sensor, I have not used enzyme. This is an optical sensor. That is why this paper got this means published and even getting good citations. So, this is the basic thing. This is the enzyme they use for the sensor. And this is the equation when you have an enzyme with glucose, you will have gluconic acid and this hydrogen peroxide. And this hydrogen peroxide is responsible for sensing glucose in the blood cell. Okay, I am not a biologist. I do not know much, much more about the glucose, what it is and all these things. But when you did, because of the, we are physics people, I was trying to see why it is happening. So when I asked me myself why, so I found that there is somebody changing a current. And I found literature that is phase 2 o changing this thing. So I tried to find some material which can give me phase 2 o which in a reaction to uh, glucose. So I tried my research, then what we found here, I have taken C, proposed enzyme free decoxide, decoxide nanorod of glucose sensor. On the previous side I cannot show you how to prepare a decoxide nanorod. I can prepare a decoxide nanorod. And that nanorod I check, students, just listen. This is a very interesting one. That nanorod I use for glucose sensor. What I found when I put a when I put a blood serum on the glucoxide nanorod and I put on UV, UV torch, this UV energy is sufficient to work with the glucoxide nanorod, give me this equation. I just put C, glucose, glucoxide nanorod, I have put on UV, then it gives me, gives me this hydrogen peroxide and gluconic acid. This hydrogen peroxide is also responsible for a lumination quenching. Means that if there are more hydrogen peroxide, there will be less luminescence. This hydrogen peroxide, I'll say the physics, why it is less luminescence. But I could be able to find that a material which interacts with the blood serum and can give me hydrogen peroxide in presence of UV light. So this is my device. I just take the sign nanorod, put glucose, and then I put on UV, then I measure the luminescence. <coughs> this is my device. That's what I did here. See. I have taken number of uh, samples, then I check that uh, if I put glucose, how the luminescence is changing. See, if I have higher, higher uh, I have peroxide, I have less luminescence. Means if I have higher peroxide, I have less luminescence. If I have lower peroxide, I have higher luminescence. And I found that this is the calibration curve. So I could know that around 1.4% uh, per millimolar change they are from the hydrogen peroxide. I use this calibration curve for a exact experiment. What we do? We do 
96 patients block from the hospital and took their results and same serum we used in our laboratory in our method and we found we found this is the result that the quenching is very linear and see this you see this is a glucose concentration concentration by pH quenching method this is the glucose concentration by clinical method the y y axis is clinical data after hospital data and my x axis is my data if you see the result is very linear linear means it is matching but it should be in the central line why it is not central line there is an issue also the sensor they are using it is a electrochemical sensor it could not take care of the other elements in the block like uric acid like ascorbic acid like gluconic acid so if this acids are there and you have electrochemical sensing then these acids will affect your electrode and whatever response you are getting it may not be correct because electrodes are manipulated by the other metals in the serum itself but in my method it is an optical method i just put in light no way it is concerned with the uric acid ascorbic acid and overall i took separately uric acid i took separate ascorbic acid and find whether they have interaction or there is change i find there is no change so what does it mean there is no error in my data however there is a error in the hospital data i challenge you go to any doctor now and show your blood report he will say that there is, this is not exact always there is a 15 20 difference and that 15 20 difference is because of this because they are not able to see the result or the effect of the interface the blood serum not only contains the glucose it contains many other elements and those elements are responsible for degrading the result like that is why doctors say if you have 120 by 200 or 250 this 120 by 250 is not exact there is a 20 to 30 error is always there no doctor will challenge you or i can challenge any doctor this data is accurate but our result shows that there is no interaction or interface problem in our technique this is simply a technique issue the technique they use they cannot take care of the interface what is there in the serum the technique i use i can take care of the interface because by interface whatever they are in the blood it doesn't care because this is a light interaction with the zinc oxide which gives me H2O2 and only H2O2 will be collected and the quenching will be deflected. Now I tell you something about the physics why quenching appears. Wait a moment then I'll come. This is the three quenching mechanism. You know all semiconductor. You are preparing J and Need means it no semiconductor. It has a conduction band, it has a valence band. So I have a G cosine in the semiconductor. So it has a conduction band, it has a valence band. And when I put this glucose, it has hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide has to sit somewhere in this conduction band, band and valence band. So it sits somewhere here. Okay. So what happened? This hydrogen peroxide is, is, is an electron acceptor. It is absorbed electron. So when I put a light, very the light uh, interact matter interact. When I, I put a light on semiconductor property lab, one electron from, will excite from this band to this band. Yes. Isn't it? And they will recombine and during recombination you will have a emission. This hole and electron when they recombine and during recombine, recombine they have emission. But during recombination, when this recombination occurs, means it will neutralize somewhere, but in between in the path, you have a hydrogen peroxide somewhere here, in between. So this electron instead of coming here, recombine here with the hole, it will go to the hydrogen peroxide. It, 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 the hydrogen peroxide is sitting somewhere in the in between. Instead of coming here, it will go to hydrogen peroxide. And this hydrogen peroxide takes out of this electron. So instead of illumination, I don't want to get illumination. I support to get illumination if I have a direct recombination. If 
goes there and it recombines, then I have luminosity. But in between I have a step, what this hydrogen peroxide is sitting and this hydrogen peroxide takes out the electron. So that luminosity is hard, what I used to get, I don't get. So because of hydrogen peroxide, now luminescence is lost. So I have a less luminescence. The number of hydrogen peroxide I have in the blood, the similar way it will reduce. Understand? The amount of hydrogen peroxide I put in the blood serum, similarly the amount of luminescence will decrease and henceforth I know that that, that number of or that amount will correspond to this much of this position. Understand? Clear? I believe you are, and uh, I, I want to conclude here that uh, thank you all for your patience. Uh, try to do good. All the best.